Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn about VLAN access ports and how to configure them. So our access ports are configured on switch interfaces where end hosts are plugged in. And access ports are configured with one specific VLAN. For example, we've got an engineering PC, it gets plugged into the switch. On that port, we configure it as an access port in the engineering VLAN. The configuration is all on the switch. The end host is not VLAN aware. It doesn't even know that the VLAN exists. The end host doesn't need to know anything about VLANs. Switches only allow traffic within the same VLAN. That's the benefit we get from configuring VLANs. They segment our campus LAN into smaller broadcast domains. So we are going to have an engineering VLAN and a sales VLAN in the example here. All my engineering PCs and the router interface in the engineering IP subnet go into the engineering VLAN and all of my sales PCs and the router interface for the sales subnet go into the sales VLAN. Whenever I send unicast traffic within the same IP subnet, for example, from sales PC2 to sales PC1, the traffic comes into the switch and the switch already knows the MAC address of sales PC1 in this example, it just sends it out that one port. Now, if we misconfigured our VLANs, for example, sales PC1, if we put that in the engineering VLAN by accident instead of the sales VLAN, then our sales PCs are not going to be able to talk to it anymore. Well, nobody's going to be able to talk to it anymore. Say that the sales PC2 sends some traffic with a destination IP address of 10.10.20.11, well, the switch does not forward traffic between different VLANs, that would have to go via a router, so the traffic is not going to make it to sales PC1. So you need to be careful when you're configuring VLANs. Traffic well, hosts, which are in the same IP subnet, should be in the same VLAN. Hosts which are in a different IP subnet should also be in the same VLAN, but that's a different VLAN. So engineering goes into the engineering VLAN, sales PCs go into the sales VLAN. The default VLAN is VLAN 1. So by default, all ports on a switch are in VLAN 1. And until you manually configure VLANs, your campus LAN is going to be one big broadcast domain. We don't want that. It's bad for performance and for security. So we are going to configure specific VLANs. The command to do that, using our same example again. So if I look at the topology, then our engineering PCs are on interfaces fast ethernet 0 slash 3, 0, 4, and 0, 5, and 0, 6. We also need to put the port on the router into that VLAN as well for the VLAN subnet. So fast 0 slash 1 is also going to go into the engineering VLAN. Interfaces fast 0 slash 2, fast 0 slash 6, and fast 0 slash 7 are going to go into the sales VLAN. So looking at the configuration, we'll do the engineering VLAN first. First off, we have to create the VLAN. To do that, the command is simply VLAN and then the number you want to use for this VLAN at global config. So we say VLAN 10, that gets us into the VLAN sub configuration. Optionally, you can give it a name. It's a good idea to give it a logical name. Here we've called it Eng. Next, we need to configure our switch ports as access ports in the correct VLAN. So we say interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1, switch port mode access to make it an access port, and switch port access VLAN 
10. If you're wondering about the other type of ports we can have, we can have trunk ports as well. We'll cover that in the next lecture. We also need to put interfaces fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 to 5 into the VLAN as well. Rather than having to do these commands over and over again for each individual port, we can configure a range of ports. So we say interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 to 5. And you have to do it in this exact format here. If you try to say interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 to 0 slash 5, it will give you an error message. Okay, so this is the correct syntax to use to specify a range of interfaces. We then say switch port mode access again and switch port access VLAN 10. So that's our engineering VLAN completed. We also need to do the, the sales VLAN as well. So we say VLAN 20 is the number we're going to use for this example for sales, name sales, and then interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 2, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20, and interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 6 to 7, again switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 20. So that's how you configure them to verify best command is show VLAN brief. That shows all of the VLANs that are available on the switch and it also shows you which ports are in which VLAN. So you can see we just did the configuration. So interfaces fast 0 slash 1, 3, 4 and 5 are in the eng VLAN 10 and 2, 6 and 7 are in the sales VLAN 20. All of the other physical ports are in the default VLAN 1. So that shows you global information about all your VLANs and all of your ports. If you want to see information specific to an individual port, you can say show interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, for example, and then put switch port at the end. In the example here, you can see that it's an access port in VLAN 10, which is the engineering VLAN. Okay, so that's how we do the configuration for our access ports. In the next lecture, I'll show you with a lab demo. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.